Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory Museum. Let's see what's in store for the next product review. This is Kenwood's TM281 2 meter mobile transceiver. Low power, 25 watts. High power, 65 watts. It has a front facing speaker and a minimalist approach to the dials and push buttons. You'll have to read the manual. There are many layers of the menu, but it's really not very complicated to actually operate. Let's try just adjusting the squelch here. Function and hit the reverse button. There's your squelch level. level. Volume control over here. I'll put it on too. Hit the function button and you're back to the VFO. To get into the menu, hit the function button and press this button. And now we can tune the various different menu items. And if you want to adjust it, press it again and turn it. Press it again to get out of the menu, hit the function button, you're back to the VFO. Now Kenwood's done away with a cooling fan. They can be quite noisy on some of these mobile radios. But because it has such a massive heat sink, it doesn't need one. The back is very simple. It just has the UHF connector for your antenna. Here's your DC input, and here's a spot for the internal speaker. This 2 meter transceiver has 200 memory positions, or if you use the alphanumeric uh, entries, it only has 100 memory positions. Let's go into the memory positions. We can actually label the each repeater with a name. Now the, the uh, software is available online, it's free, and there's also an optional uh, programming cable which makes programming just a little bit easier. We'll go back to the VFO and tuning around is relatively simple. We can vary the steps that we go forward and now the frequency coverage is 136 to 174 megahertz FM only. And the Kenwood TM281 only weighs two and a half pounds. You could take that on a trip or go backpacking with it conceivably. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM at the ARRL Laboratory.